I'm Larch Maxi and I'm going fossil fuel free for a year. I'm doing that as an experiment, as an adventure to show what's possible right now because we know that in order to stop catastrophic climate change we need to stop as a society burning fossil fuels within the next 10 years or so. And rather than procrastinate and put it off as politicians are doing, I thought, well, actually, I want to just get on and start doing it now and see what's possible. So, Jan, I've come here um, today to get some biodiesel because as I started to go fossil fuel free, I realised that transport was one of the things that was going to be my biggest challenge. And it seems like you've got a lot of the answers for me. So, do you want to tell me just a bit about how you make the biodiesel, what it's made from? Um, we make biodiesel from used cooking oil. So we're able to chemically um, transform that into a diesel quality fuel. So it can be used for various purposes, including transport fuel. So um, people can come here and take the fuel away in containers and they can then um, use up to two and a half thousand litres a year in their vehicle. And you don't have to pay duty on that now since the government introduced a deregulation in 2006. Practically any diesel can run on biodiesel properly made, yes. Um, biodiesel made from used cooking oil has been common in Europe for about 30 years now. This technology isn't new. We're now the longest established registered biodiesel producer in the UK. We were the first to set up as a community-based operation and we're very um, proud and well connected to our community roots. We very much serve our community. We, we take oil from the local community and supply um, biodiesel in exchange. And we've come to fill up from here today. You sell it through containers. How mm -hmm. big an area can people get your biodiesel from? Well, we deliver um, across the whole of Wales, really. Um, we've got a delivery next week to Bath. Um, we're trying to get this out as um, um, accessibly as possible to people. This is a problem. The infrastructure isn't in place to deliver biodiesel. We're trying to set up um, local community dispensers for biodiesel and have um, drop-off points for containers. Because we're always out every day with one or two vehicles picking up oil, we're able to drop off biodiesel at the same time. So it, it is developing and we hope more and more people will choose to um, cut their carbon footprint by using biodiesel. So if someone was interested in, in using biodiesel and they've never used it before, what, what advice would you give them? Um, just go for it really, you know, just start, you know, find uh, somebody local who's um, producing good quality biodiesel. I think a big problem in the past has been that as biodiesel has essentially been driven underground through government policy, people making it in their backyard literally, and the quality um, can be very variable, so it's important to get good quality biodiesel. And then, um, really, you're, you're sailing then. You can use biodiesel um, up to a certain blend in any diesel vehicle. So I've just filled up on biodiesel, and that really confirms my decision to keep this old car and keep this running, rather than trade it in for one of the new scheme that the government's got, um, incentive scheme. So they would pay me £3,000 to trade this in and be running on a car which has 120 grams uh, of CO2 emissions per litre. But this car, if I run it on biodiesel, has 40 or less. And it's actually a really efficient little car. And if I drive it a bit more slowly as well, I'll get so much mileage out of it. Um, so yeah, it feels really good to have made that decision. Um, kind of confirms my approach to this going fossil fuel free, starting from where I'm at with my little old car and just working out as I go along throughout the year.